Well, turning now to a controversy brewing in Minnesota over a candidate, her marriage status, and allegations of immigration fraud. Ilan Omar is poised to become the first Somali-American state lawmaker in U.S. history. But now questions surround her alleged marriage to two men at once, with accusations that one of those marriages is to her own brother, uh, so that he could get into the U.S. would be immigration fraud. Here to help us make sense of all this is Preya Samsadar. She's a writer who's been following this story very closely on a new site, Alpha News, Minnesota. Uh, good morning, Preya. How are you? Good morning. Thank you guys so much for having me on. You've been working very, very hard on this story. It's a big local story in Minnesota. What is being uncovered? Obviously, it's, it's uh, historic that she's the first female Somali woman elected. Uh, what, have, what have you found that could be problematic? Um, first of all, we were able to uncover that there were two marriage licenses, one in 2002 um, to her cultural husband um, by the name of Ahmed Hersey, or as we refer to him as uh, husband one, and then one in 2009, which was a legal marriage, and that was to a man by the name of Ahmed Nor Saeed Almi, or who we refer to as uh, husband two. Um, as far as we know, there has been no attempts made to divorce husband two and um, is what we do know is that husband two did attend North Dakota State University um, at the same time as Awan Omar so so you've got two marriages which is is not legal and also allegations that the reason for the second marriage was to get her brother so she would be marrying her brother if that is true to help him come to the United States is that was that how it's put together yes Good evening, I'm the world's greatest reporter, Jim Acosta. This is the story of Ilhan Omar, the woman recently elected to Congress who married her brother. Allegedly. Now you're going to be hearing the term allegedly a lot here for legal reasons, so whenever I have to say that, I'm just going to let DJ Khaled say it for me. Allegedly. So reporters pointed out years ago that Omar married Ahmed Nur Saeed Elmi in Eden Prairie, according to her marriage records. However, there was no recorded uh, divorce filing in the records, so Omar's campaign responded by calling that racist. Omar claimed that in 2002 it was an Islamic marriage, so not an official by the book's marriage by the law. So it therefore didn't require a divorce before marrying her new husband in 2009, the alleged brother, whom she did divorce in 2017. However, the first guy was listed as her husband in pamphlets promoting the 2016 primary she was involved in, despite being legally married to a different guy in 2009. Mistake? I don't know. Now there are attempts to smear the publication that put this out called Powerline, but they actually have some credibility because they were the ones that broke the story about George Bush's Air Force records in the National Guard, and those turned out to be true, so they did gain a lot of credibility from that. That's a completely different story and I'll link that in the description though. So everyone's favorite ambush journalist, Laura Loomer, claims that this photo and this marriage license are evidence that she married her brother. I mean, it is a marriage license that shows she married somebody, but do we know that's her brother? We don't know. It's not exactly the same name. However, however again, again, that does show, however, that she was married to the first guy, so if no legal divorce exists, that means it wasn't actually an Islamic marriage, and she was actually married to two guys at once, all the way up to 2017. Allegedly. Now, I'm no bookkeeper, but if you go onto the Minnesota Marriage License website, which is a thing, a registry, you could search her name and see these two. The one from 2009 is the alleged brother, and the one from 2018 is the current husband, Ahmed Aden, who now goes by Ahmed Hersey. And I'm guessing that's an updated one due to the name change, but I don't know specifically. Now, when asked about marriage licenses and the like, Omar's campaign lawyer responded with the following letter. Dear Mr. Johnson, I have been contacted by the Ilhan Omar campaign. The response to your email from this morning is as follows. There are people who do not want an East African Muslim woman elected to office and who will follow Donald Trump's playbook to prevent it. Ilhan Omar's campaign sees your superfluous contentions as one of as one more in the series of attempts to discredit her candidacy. Ilhan Omar's campaign will not be distracted by negative forces and will continue to focus its energy on creating positive engagement with community members to make the district and state more prosperous and equitable for everybody. If you have any further questions regarding this matter, 
please direct them to me in writing so we can have a record of further communications. Sincerely, White Lady. Keep in mind the woman you saw on Fox News, Priya Samsundar, was also investigating this case. So doesn't that make Omar's campaign really, really racist? racist? Racism and Islamophobia? Uh, or is she be and why is this not being you know, mainstream media in Minnesota isn't really covering this? Why not? Um I have to say that I think that mainstream media here in Minnesota, they're afraid of though of being referred to by those Donald Trump style tactics. Um, I have to tell you, my investigation into the Alana Omar controversy has nothing to do with where she's from, the color of her skin, her gender, or her faith. It has to do with a young woman who has said that she wants to run for public office, and there are discrepancies in her background that do allege that she did marry her brother in order to bring him to the United States, therefore committing marriage and immigration fraud. Fast forward to two weeks before Omar is elected, okay? Things are tense. People are asking around. Hey, did you go to high school with her? Hey, is this her brother? Hey, does she kiss all her family members on the mouth? Hey, did you notice her and her boyfriend call the same guy dad? Further investigation found though, and not through official documents though, from hearsay, people identified her second husband's father as the same man that she has publicly displayed as being her father. The journalist could not get the official names of that guy's parents though, because federal law forbids you from getting students' parents' names. Now, add to all this that while in divorce court, she allegedly perjured herself on record. Allegedly. In contrast to Omar's attestation of zero contact to 2011, two of Omar's three self-published photos here actually appear to be physical contact some three years later. So basically, she claimed to not see the guy for several years, but she has photos posted with him um, that contend what she actually said. So to summarize, on my t-shirt, she married a guy, allegedly, failed to divorce him, allegedly, referred to him as her husband while being married to another guy, illegally was married to two people at once, allegedly, married her super hot brother, allegedly, and lied in court, allegedly. People, our search is over. On this site, we shall build a new town where we can worship freely, govern justly, and grow vast fields of hemp for making rope and blankets. Yes, and marry our cousins. I was... What, what are you talking about, Shelbyville? Why would we want to marry our cousins? Because they're so attractive. Normally, I wouldn't add something like this, but I think it helps in the broader context of all of this that she's also been accused of multiple campaign finance violations. Now, add to all of this that in Minnesota they just elected Keith Ellison as their attorney general and he's got uh, domestic abuse accusations. And then also that they both support Linda Sarsour, which is a troubling character that we don't need to get into. <laughs> and let's just say that Gordon Bombay, the Minnesota Miracle Man himself, he would not be pleased with the direction that his state is heading. Newsflash, that wasn't even my triple D. More post and you go home crying. By the way, Stanson, you owe me a beach ball. 